In today's video, I'm going to start off a little bit morbid, <laughs> but the purpose of this video is meant to teach you on what it's like to live from the heart and how you can start living from your heart. So here's the morbid question. If you knew when you were going to die, how would you shift your life to live the life that you truly intend to live without all the BS, without all the limits, without all the conditioning, without all the procrastination, laziness, etc. If you knew that you were going to die in a limited amount of time, how would you change the way that you lived? Now, when you think about that, if you're living the life that you would live if you knew you were going to die, then congratulations, you're doing great. But for a lot of us, we often find that we would shift. We would shift a lot of things in our life. And what that can then show you is that there's a lot of incongruency behind how you are currently living your life versus how you would live your life if you were living from your heart space. A lot of times what I find with my clients is that they're living life for a lot of different things, for everything other than living life for themselves. So it's, what is my partner thinking? What are they gonna decide? My job, how's that gonna go? Um, finances, children, all of those things, or just limiting beliefs that you carry on with you. How do I make my parents happy? What does society tell me that I should want in life? all of those things and what could happen when you live life for all of those things is that you spend a lot of time that you can never get back and a lot of energy going after things that don't even matter to you when you drop into what your heart wants and how your heart would live life if you want to hear a perfect example a perfect story on someone that lived life based on conditioning and society and all of the things and that was disconnected from who they truly were and until they connected to who they truly were they were not able to live a fulfilled life then you need to hear my story. So you can go to yashikasintuition.com, listen to my story, grab a drink because it's a, about a 30 minute story, but I think it'll help you understand or connect more with what life can look like, even though it may not be bad, what it can look like when you're not living life from your heart space. If you're not one of those people that feels like maybe they're living for other people or other things or conditioning or may have lost yourself or what you wanted because you did other things to make other people happy and that's kind of the way that you guide your life then you may fall into this other category here there's another set of clients that come to me and they just live life as a drifter so it doesn't mean anything is happening to them. It doesn't mean that they experience bad things in life, or if they do, they feel like they're one of those people that just kind of go with the flow of life. And let me tell you the issue with that. You are a part of the creator. And one of your purposes here on life is to use your free will and your freedom of choice to create. And if you are just going with the flow, what you're doing is letting life just pull you along and based on what life shows you, you react to that. So that means that you are not consciously and intentionally moving your life in a direction that can reach dreams, goals, and potential. What you tend to be doing, whether you know it or not, is playing a part in a script of someone else's decisions choices, dreams, and goals. It's not a badge of honor for you to say that you just go with the flow or you just drift through life or you just let life happen because you aren't tapping into your full power that you have been given to create as the creator created and creates. When you don't tap into that full creative potential, what also happens is you end up living life in more of a comfort zone. Again, I'm not saying that when you live life this way, you don't accomplish goals or you don't actualize some of the things that you desire. But what I'm saying is that you might be living life at 80% when if you were more intentional, you would be living life at 100%. And so what it tends to do is cause you to live life in more of a comfort zone where you are less likely to make waves in life. 
So here's the question for you, no matter what side of the coin that you fall on. Are you living aimlessly and thoughtlessly and just letting life happen on the day to day? Or are you taking charge of your life and embodying your role as the person that can help materialize the things that you want by creating a vision for yourself that is from the heart space and moving in the right direction and taking aim toward what it is that you truly want. The answer to that question lies from living in the heart and letting your mind be a tool once you decide what you want. And again, that comes from your heart. So if you need some help, here's some things that you can do to start to live more from your heart space. Number one, are you connected to a vision and a purpose for yourself, for your life? And are you acting from that space? When you are connected to a vision and purpose for yourself and you're living a life in which your actions and your behaviors are aligned to that vision and purpose, what you are going to find is that there is more desire towards the things that you want out of life and there is more passion towards the things that you want out of life. And this opens up a door that allows you to move forward and break new grounds even though you are always constantly in a state of uncertainty. Because what you do know when you are living from that space is that you have this ability to have faith in yourself and to have faith that even at times of uncertainty, you are able to push forward and act and behave in a way that is aligned with what you want and know that eventually you will have what it is that you want, even though you may not see proof of it now. That's faith. And having faith also allows you to understand that you aren't just living life checking off boxes. You aren't just living life for other people. You aren't just living life being busy or being productive, but that you are actually doing things in your life that add value to your life, that add value, that add structure, that help you materialize the things that you want out of life via your purpose, your vision, or your goals that you've set for yourself. So are you living your vision? And if you find that you're not, then just course correct because living from the heart is going to come from that space. Another thing that I see that really holds a lot of people back, a lot of my clients struggle with this. They have shame, guilt, depression, sadness, um, lack of forgiveness around the fact that they are not living in the now. They're living in a false moment. They're living in what happened in the past or they're thinking about what is happening or what could happen in the future. And they look at it in a way and such that they are down on themselves about what happened in the past and they create anxiety about what is going to happen in the future. When in fact, none of that is real. The only moment that is real anymore is the moment that you are in right now. So there's a lot of energy that you may have to expend to start to live from the heart that has to do with you forgiving, letting go, and releasing. And what it really is about is not denying that something happened to you that was very impactful, but it's about making peace with what is, not what was. And it's about learning that your past is what it was and making a conscious decision in this moment now on how you're gonna let your past define what is only real in this moment, the now. And it's also about thinking about how you are gonna let the past and the now define the future that you're gonna be stepping into in the now, and the now, and the now, and the now. That could be a little bit deep, so you may wanna rewind that, listen to it again, so that it really sinks in what I'm trying to teach you here in this moment. Again, it isn't about ignoring our hurts or our suffering or the things that have happened to us that are very impactful to who we are as a person right now. But what it is about is allowing life 
to change you and to shape you and transform you. And that is a choice because we can either have all of those things change us and shape us for the better, or we can allow those things to change us and shape us to the point where we are shameful, guilty, unforgiving, stuck, stagnant, not evolving, not growing, not reaching our full potential. And here's the kicker. If you can let the past transform you for the better and move forward toward the future with an open heart, then that alone is another way that you can start living from your heart space. If you find that after listening to this video, you want to learn how to live life that is more purposeful, more aligned, um, living from your heart space, knowing that you can take what has happened to you in the past and learn how to reshape it so that it transforms you positively and creates fuel for you to in the now become a different person, which is then the catalyst for change in your outer world. And you want help with that. Then I have openings for my 12 week private coaching program. It is by application only just to make sure that you and I are aligned, but there's like a short little form that you fill out. And if I know that I can help you, then we'll hop on a free Zoom call. This is a call where we're just talking about if we're going to be a good fit for each other and what coaching would look like for you, what that journey would look like for you. And through that space, we're able to get you started right away so that you can start to transform your life and live life from that heart space and really learn what it means and what it feels like and what you can experience when you start to live life from the heart. So you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash coaching if you would like to work with me. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.